water. Pretty dirty. Hot tub. I don't think he's going to go anywhere, Ems. Unless he goes to Blue and she eats him. He's done 18 seconds because it's hotter. Would go in ice water. We're gonna, uh, blue, and then grab a, we're gonna start gutting, that? so With blue lid? I'll do that in a different video. So then I just check for any feathers left. Usually in the creases, there's a couple if the kids haven't already plucked them after the plucker. in here. So then I take the heads off. We got clippers. They work good to cut through the bone but not not so much the skin. Now instead of using the better knife, I use the the exacto knife. And the legs. So if you bend the leg back, you can see a divot in between the joints here. You just slit there down both sides. And then pops pops open and you can see in this is the part you want to not cut otherwise it can cut your bags so I just cut off the excess I think I need to change my blade and we keep the feet the same thing on the other leg Right in between the divot, I pop it back. So I'm just making sure I don't cut the round, so I don't want rip bags. next thing I do for because the kids have been gutting but I take the oil gland off so there's a divot here just above the oil gland this is part of the oil gland so you want to go in right here and make a slit and then I just get a hold of it and I kind of pull pull it up I just come along down. Well, I wasn't doing this one the right face the right way for what I have been doing, so but you can see the darker yellow is part of the oil gland. So that's what I'm cutting off. And then for We're, we're cutting the necks, so I just slice the skin and I go all the way around. Some people leave the necks on, but we're taking them off. We are keeping them, but just not on the bird. And 
just go up through all the skin and the fat. These guys got a lot of fat on them. They're not, not as nice as the ducks. So I cut the skin all the way around. Then I find the windpipe and the esophagus. And I just go up through the, lig the, the membrane ligaments there. And I just pull it right off. And then I take this off. And we're keeping that. And then since the kids are gutting, and these guys are so fat in here, and such big breasted, I've been ripping the windpipe through here for them. So they pulls out the bottom easier. And then I detach the gizzard because it runs so close to the skin here. It's a little harder to get it out the bottom. So, Lou, you want to grab the phone so we can see you better? You gotta go down. I want some more water in that. So this is all part of the gizzard. They're empty because we weren't feeding them today or last night. So I'm just gonna go around and detach it from the skin. way makes it hard for me. So you can see a little bit of grass in there, the green. I'm just going to go around and get it off. I think you're too high, Lou. Can't see. So there it is. So I just get underneath it and then I just pull, pull it off the skin. And then I pull it off the breast here and then if there's nothing in it I would pull it out and I would cut it right here and the rest would come out the bottom but it's full of grass so I'm just gonna leave it so I'm just gonna detach it so it pulls out the bottom easier for the girls Okay, then you want to put them back in there? Then for the, I get them started with the gutting because they're so fatty it's hard to tell the difference. It's quite a bit different than the ducks. So I'm just going to pinch up above the bum and make a few slits here and get through all of the fat layer and as soon as I have a little hole I just rip from there so I can see into the bird so then what I've been doing for the girls because it's hard to tell the fat from the intestine it's basically the same color I've been cutting down the sides for them so I'm just gonna cut down the side and I'm gonna make sure I'm just going through the fat not the intestine down onto either side of the anus on both sides you don't really want to cut the intestine I mean if you do you can just rinse them but, so can you grab the phone again, Lou, and mm -hmm. show? So, I went on either side of the intestine here, and this is as much as I've been doing for the girls, and then they, they've been gutting them. But before I hand them off to gut them, we've been taking the necks off and keeping the necks. So I just use my clippers 
and you want to cut down downwards like this so that um, you're not going to rip your bags when you bag them. So I just cut through the bone with the clippers. Like I said, it doesn't cut the meat very good. So I'll just come back through with, and we keep, we're being keeping the necks. So then at this point, I would hand them off to one of the girls and Lou's going to be gutting. So put it back in there. I'll turn to Lou. Somewhat, maybe. So she, she would do the gutting. Yeah, just put them up and I'll check. Okay. So then when the girls are done gutting, since these guys are so much different than the ducks, I've just been checking. They leave the intestines hanging for me. I check for everything. Make sure everything's good and out. I don't think it's pretty easy. I also never did any of the ducks. And then I just come in at the end and cut off around that, uh, around the colon, where I said you don't want to slit it to begin with. So I'm just going to detach it from the ligaments here, or membrane. And then I just pull it out. And then we just take the end of the butt right off so we leave the tail because i cut the oil gland out but that piece where the rectum is we just take that right off with the guts and then yeah the girls go over here we have rinse set up so they get rinsed and then they get put into ice water until we're ready to pack them